Hey, do you, you own the property here? Okay, I came, uh, I came yesterday. My name's Justin. That's a lawn care guy. But um, me and my sons, we go out every week in the neighborhood, uh, one day a week, and just look for properties that need help and stuff like that and offer our services for free. Okay, cool. And um, I had talked to the lady yesterday, and I saw maybe you had been having trouble with your, your, your bush, getting your bush trimmed down. Yeah. Um, we could take care of that for you today. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Keep watching on TV. Don't okay, you? yeah, yeah. Blessing Boys. So we have a YouTube channel and yeah, just do porn on TV. after. Awesome, awesome. Very cool. great because I'm having a whole lot of trouble right now. My truck just blew up yesterday. And oh, no way. Wow. Yeah, I can use the help. Yeah, that would be great. Do you have that. a specific height that you want it? You can cut it about right there if you want to. Okay, cut it all the way down. Perfect. I mean, if that's too much, you can cut it down that low. Cut it low, you can cut it. You know, just no lower than that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We won't go any lower than that. We'll get it down as far as we can and uh, make sure it looks good and stuff. All right, I appreciate it. Awesome. We'll right. stop back by. Thanks right, a lot. Cool. Yep. This uh, is for sure the Goliath of all bushes. This thing has got to be about 15, 16 foot high and we're taking off. Oh, man. Hey, this is Justin from The Blessing Boys. Today, as you can see, we will be attempting to conquer the Goliath of all hedges. And this bad boy is about 15 foot high from what I can tell and has completely overtaken this man's yard. As you heard, the homeowner has gone through some series of unfortunate events lately, so we are glad to step in and take this burden off his back before the city gets involved and he has more problems on his hand. So today, we'll start by first cleaning up the trash that people have unfortunately thrown into this area, and then we'll start Start from the right side, trimming the outside of the hedge, and then we'll move to the inside of the hedge, taking it section by section until we work our way all the way around. Now this home sits at a very busy street intersection, so I apologize for all the traffic, but hey, at least we know many people will notice the drastic difference in this and hopefully be inspired by this transformation. Hey, now this one is one you'll want to hang out to the end for since we actually will get to see the reaction of his wife, who shares a little bit more about their situation and then you get to see the incredible before and after photos of this massive job that took us multiple days to finish. Hey, thanks for watching today. We appreciate the support. Now let's get right into this yard.
right, so a little update. This uh, is for sure the Goliath of all bushes. This thing has got to be about 15, 16 foot high and we're taking off, oh man, at least six to eight feet off of this bush. So I'm using the pole uh, hedge trimmer and it's getting kind of heavy. And so it's, it's wearing my shoulders out real quick. So you may see me in a minute switch back and forth from the hand tool to that, depending on which one I need just to give my shoulders a little bit of break. But um, I want to show you up here. I'm going to kind of give you a view because we're doing the outside. Then we're going to go inside like what this actually looks like up top. I mean, we barely, barely nicked this thing so far. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, but man, is it going to look good when it's done. All right, so we just finished the first section on the outside, so we're gonna come around to the inside and start working on that. We'll take it one section at a time. Looks like there's about three or four big sections, but we wanna clear out the inside before we move on to the next section. You can kind of see from the inside, looks like we've done nothing, but we're gonna cut it out and keep moving forward.
So the more we help people, the more our names and information gets out on the internet, which can be a good thing unless it gets into the wrong hands like data brokers. And thanks to the sponsor of this video, Delete Me, I have now been able to fight back and get a lot of that information out of their hands. You see, data brokers are corporations that gather big amounts of your personal information, not just mine, like social security numbers, addresses, birth dates, and they package it all together and sell it to advertisers and businesses. Crazy, right? Well, this is where Delete Me comes in. They're a hands-free subscription service that will help remove your personal information from hundreds of data broker websites all year long because the data brokers, they don't stop. So check this out. Just in my first report, they reviewed over 2,000 listings of over 100 data brokers and found that 73 of them had my personal information. They were then able to remove 157 of those listings and will continue to monitor my data regularly. So if you want to get started and get your personal information out of the hands of these brokers, get 20% off Delete Me U.S. consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com slash bboys and use the promo code BBOYS at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash bboys, promo code BBOYS. Now let's get back into this yard. Right, day two quick update uh, bad news and good news bad news is is that this is creating a so much debris that we need to take care of so we loaded up our truck loaded up a bunch of yard bags and just didn't have anywhere to put it so we don't want to be making multiple trips back um, good news is we talked to uh, one of the guys at the city and he said we can pile it up right here on the road and they're actually going to schedule a time to come pick it up so that's gonna save us a lot of time so um, excited to get into this thing and make some more progress today. Hopefully we can uh, finish today. That would be awesome. If not, we'll come back day three and knock this thing out.
want to say real quick uh, the bush has some natural ebbs and flows in it so I'm trying to get it as straight as possible but you're gonna notice there's gonna be some bare spots and some spots where it kind of dips in six or eight inches now what I'm not gonna do is go in six or eight inches just to make it perfectly straight so you'll probably notice in the end that it won't it's not gonna be perfectly straight it's not that type of bush or it's not that healthy of a bush um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that see so if you see where it kind of dips a little bit uh, that's the reason why What is it, Judah? It's a big bird nest in here. It's empty. Ah, uh, it's empty? Yeah. Cool. Well, it's right under where we're cutting, so we'll leave it there. Yeah. So that the birds can come back and use it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just gotta get down. Careful. <laughs> it's tall. How tall is this thing? I don't know, probably like four foot nine, so probably like four foot. I was talking about the bush. <laughs> oh. Ten foot? No. Twelve. To the top? Yeah, probably twelve to fifteen foot, but twelve to fifteen foot. Cool. Alright, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs>
right, Judah wants to show you guys something. Something cool happened. <laughs> what happened? I lost a tooth. You lost a tooth? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Bet you never seen that on a lawn care video. A tooth pop out. It was loose and it was a baby tooth, so it's a good thing, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's How's the job so far? Uh, we're actually moving really fast. We're moving a lot faster than we were yesterday, huh? Yeah. It's looking I don't know good. what is today, but some yeah. click. Just Still like tough? This ladder. Yeah, do you think we're gonna conquer this Goliath bush or what? Uh-huh. I don't know. We got like four hours left, so. Yeah. <sighs> it's good gonna deal. be hard, but. Well, let's get to work.
So I'm up there, you, you know, obviously I can't get the camera up high enough to for you guys to see completely down in this massive bush, but there's something like, I don't know, like three feet away from me when I'm up top. And I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but it looks, it looks like a baby stroller I've <laughs> in in a, a 15 foot tall bush, which, I'm, which a lot of questions come into my head. Um, like how how did you get that in there but I, I could be wrong so i want you guys to to try and guess with me i'll i'll know when we get to the inside of this bush and we start um cutting it out but uh i'm gonna show you i see i don't know it looks like the little top canopy i can't tell maybe it's not i don't know i don't really know what it is but i don't know if it's giving you a good shot of it but i thought it'd be fun to wait and see to either see how spot on my uh, guess was or how completely far off it is but that would be really interesting <laughs> hopefully there's no baby in it
right, guys, we are on the inside of the bush now. As you can see, we're in the home stretch, and me and the boys are both thankful. Uh, we're all thankful because it's getting, we're getting pretty whooped. This will probably be uh, the toughest part only because we've got to maneuver around a bunch of stuff, so we're gonna have to kind of cut the sides there, and um, we've got a bunch of stuff in our way, so. But once we get through with that, it should be a straight shot and we will uh, get this thing finished up and get that customer's reaction for you. We're also gonna try and find out if that's really a stroller in that bush, so hang in there. was wrong but in it you know in a minute you'll see why I thought that is actually some kind of chair look yeah it's one of those chairs but so on the back 
I was looking at it like this. And you see how that, it looked like from a distance, it looked like the top part of a stroller and maybe this was the handle. But yeah. once we flipped it around, it was actually uh, one of those kind of disc shaped seats. So I was wrong, but still interesting. You think in your head like, <laughs> how did that, how did that get in there? Who took the, took the time to actually launch that thing up there? But strange, but that's what it is. So <laughs> yeah, what? Should I sit in it? Probably not. It looks kind of, looks a little dirty. It looks just a tiny right. bit. How excited are you, Judah, that we're on the last stretch? So excited. This is like one of the hardest stretch we've ever done. It really is. It really it's is. Like, I'm not going to lie. Because like if we cut it so short and it was like so tall and there's like vines and stuff and like it's so thick to yeah. cut through, I can't even explain it. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to work. Yep. Finish it up. It's a little easy. 